A ribbon cutting ceremony was held earlier this year at Mount Vernon Woods Elementary. The event, an extreme library makeover. Unlike what you've seen on TV, no walls were knocked down and no sledgehammers were used during this renovation. What is strikingly similar to the makeover series is how the community came together with FCPS to reimagine and rebuild this library. Several businesses and community organizations contributed to the redesign. Two key players include the Heart of America Foundation and Capital One Bank. Well, Capital One partnered with Heart of America. We've done that for about a decade and uh, really enjoy the work they do. They, they bring life to libraries. They kind of uh, instill a bit of fun into the library where sometimes uh, they haven't been updated for a while. And so kids want to come back, they want to learn, and they want to spend time reading. Well, the Heart of America Foundation, really, we work really closely with the school districts and the schools across the country, um, and then really bring in volunteers that want to make a difference in these school communities. And, of course, Capital One uh, Associates are busy working in the banks and really helping and provide funding for, you know, the communities. But they want to volunteer, and they want to give back and invest in our schools and our future. Um, and so we help facilitate that with a redesigned library makeover program. We have designers and architects. We come in and work with the school to transform the space. A modern projector, a new sound system, and a handful of iPads highlight the changes students find in their new library. All are welcome additions to a school that's nearly 50 years old. Oh, I just love this library. This has just been a great gift to, to our school, to our community, to our students. Um, it's just really been fabulous. Yet, with all this new technology, it's books that make a library. This renovation includes 800 new titles for Mount Vernon Woods students including books students get to keep. I think books are still relevant. You know, everyone um, enjoys the feeling of looking at a book and browsing a book, especially in a library, and being able to check those books out and take them home. And um, we have some kids, that they'll check the same book out over and over because they just have a favorite book. So I think books are still going to be relevant, especially in the elementary school. I'm an avid reader and, um, you know, read as a child, and I know just the importance of literacy. A lot of these children do not have books in their homes, and um, the only resource that they have are the books that are in their school. And so to be able to give them books, to create home libraries, and to saturate them with reading, I think really will give them a chance to succeed in life. When businesses and community organizations work with the school system, students, staff, and community all benefit. And where new furniture, fresh paint, and technology are the obvious changes, the big reveal in this renovation is improved literacy for years to come. This is really a community effort, and um, I think the important part of this is really to highlight the importance of our children, the importance of education, the importance of literacy. And when you celebrate the community piece of this, everybody comes together for our children, and it really makes a difference in their lives. It's just been a great partnership because being able to work together, we've been able to, to make all these things happen and make this library so much more inviting, so much more user-friendly, um, the additional books that are here. And then also I think just the event itself really models for kids what you do as a community member, what do you do as a citizen to really support all, all people.